Hey guys, I'm back from my little vacay and I thought I'd do a quick little video for you. The video here is going to show you something that uh, kind of came up when I was talking to my buddy there Streets and uh, something we were wondering about and we didn't know was could you program your remix trigger pad we like the girls, the girls, they go boom. and uh, have that actually trigger something at the same time. So that's kind of the idea is that when I every time I trigger off my sample I'm actually as well pushing that button on delay. Now, if I want to get really fancy, I could actually have this button say when I push it, hit the delay, select delay, put my wet dry where I want it, put my delay where I want it. So the concept is that instead of having one effect for each row, well, you don't even have for each row, you have the one effect for the whole thing and you can turn them on and off by you know, I want these two effects on these channels not to have effects. That kind of deal, right? But now when I do that, if I say I don't want it to have effects, of course it still turns off the effects because it's not, you know, that's the whole deal behind that shit, right? So. We like the girls, the girls, they go boom. I like the girls, the girls, they go boom. That's all I want, so fellas make boom. I want the girl, the girl with the boom. So yeah, you could, I haven't experimented with other things, but you know, so this one could be like an echo, this one could have something else. So each button could have its own unique effect to go with each little break. So for like a scratch mix guy, that'd probably be something that would work out pretty well. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that shit. Um, so you want to go into your preferences. This is real simple stuff. And wait for it to open up. And so we can get this uh, guy to focus. You go to your controller manager. You would select your control F1. I got a lot of stuff in here, guys, so don't mind me. But the default. And when you select it, it takes a moment for it to kind of kick in, at least it does on this i5 Dell XPS. And, um,. Yeah, so you want to make sure your input says you control F1. If you have two F1s, it's going to say control F1 1 and control F1 2. So know which is which. Um, that's in straight remix mode. It's not in MIDI mode or anything like that because that's MIDI mode right there. So you're going to go in there and I would say add in effect. And I added in button 1 is what I did up here. I'm not doing it again because I don't feel like it. So my button one is my happens to be my delay over here. My assignment is unit four because that's where it is. By default, that's going to be override. You don't want to override because you want to be able to do both at the same time, right? And it's a hold button. So when I press it, when I let go of it, the delay's off. So that way I can do something underneath it, and um, I don't have any effect on it, right? So that way, you, in one thing, you could have effect, no effect, effect, you got the idea. You know what? I do these videos to inspire, to open up your imagination, not to really teach you some grand trick so you can go reproduce what I'm doing. So that kind of gives you the idea. Um, hopefully, you guys there can do some video responses. And show me some of the cool shit that you're doing with that, you know, mapping effects to your uh, remix decks like that. So, as usual, I'm going to uh, shut down my preferences. Try to get this thing to do a focus. So, that was just a Planet Rock loop at 128, and that was some Ghetto Superstar Acapella. With Praz, oh dirty bastard in Maya, but obviously you didn't hear any Maya there. Yeah, 
And you know what? I'm a total liar. Because that's not, we haven't been playing that at all. Anyhow. You get the basic idea. I would redo this video. But you know what? I'm kind of tired, man. I've been doing shit all weekend and past couple days. So, yeah. Take care. Subscribe. Like the channel. Write a comment. Say something. Talk to you later.